what a day. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kyle, also known as Salt. I'm Courtney, also known as Sunshine. And you are my sunshine. I hope so. Together we are sun... <laughs> yeah, we are sunshine and salt. Not salt and sunshine. You see how that works? <laughs> Together we are salt and sunshine FL. So today came out to Sarasota. Um, we we forgot to do the the video on the uh, on the boat and we're like we'll just wait till we get back to the ramp hold up we forgot because we were so excited because it's been a month since we've been on the boat yeah it has been a month uh, we had some we had some adulting to do <laughs> had for to, the birds had to do uh, some hurricane shutters around the house because we did not have hurricane shutters during Ian just let it go next time uh, not doing that again so it's been a couple weeks since we've been on the water came back out and uh, had a fantastic day on the water today. Probably one of the best days we've had in a long time. Uh, caught a whole bunch of fish. Got a. Uh, Kyle some... caught all the fish. <laughs> you caught some I'm fish. I'm salty too. about it too. You caught some fish. Yeah. Well, meow. <laughs> so stay tuned to the end of the video. We're going to do a catch clean cook. Maybe with a trout. Maybe, maybe with a flounder. Maybe with the catfish. Have to wait and see. Maybe with a lobster. Maybe a lobster. So, with that being said, help our small channel grow. Subscribe, like, comment. Also, oh, hit the notification button. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we post new content. With that being said, let's get to the fishing. First fish of the day. I know it came off. It came off again? Yeah. Well, it was first fish of the day. I still got him. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Yeah. Nada. Came off? Yep. Probably was a cat. They're spitting them like that, you know? Go. That's the first fish of the day. Get it, baby. Holy sail kitty. First fish of the day. Feels like a cat. Yep, cat. Well, he was on it though. He was on it as soon as it hit the water. He was on it. There you go. I right, so out here on our little grass flat. It's kind of windy today. You see how how much disturbance there is on top of the water. It's really hard for us to sight cast uh, for these uh, grass patches that we normally look for. Because all the disturbance on top of the water just makes it a little bit harder to see. But we are using that tsunami shrimp, the one that's produced really well for us out here. I'm trying to get up on some trout. Maybe see if there's any reds laying up in here as well. We're just letting the wind just push us. Uh, start off about seven, eight foot of water. We're gonna push this right up, going towards that way. And uh, just see if we can get up on something. I threw over into that sandy spot right there. Yeah. 
her right over into there when I pulled up out of it or as I was on the edge of it I got a I got a good pop oh got him got him oh he spit it out did he nope he's coming at me no you don't you bird Watch the kayaker. You broke your pole. Thank you. What were you stuck on? I have no fucking idea. I stopped this from, like, I, I, killed, I killed the motor. I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll get you another one. It's fine. Oh. Missed him. Missed him. Got him. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. That is one massive pinfish. Look how big that thing is. Holy shit. I have never. Oh, my shrimp went overboard. I have never seen a pinfish this big. Look at the size of that thing. Look how big that pinfish is. Good night. Look how massive that pinfish is. He's chunky. Whoo. Yo, have you ever seen a pinfish that big? Look how big that thing is. I think it's as big as my hand. Good night. Something miss on Mr. Shrimp back there. Oh, got him. Got him. I was out at that point. Feels like a cat. Boy, he's fighting. Get out of the water. He's a big one. Yeah. Is that your little pole? That's my little pole. Got him on me, little pole. Come on. Let me get the net. 
Yeah, probably. I'm running that really fine line. It's a stingray. Yeah. No. Not too terribly big. There you go, buddy. Right here. There's two of them. Oh, where'd they go? Here they are. Mama and baby. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but there's a big school. Right there. Just splashed up. Looks like some trout. Push up in here along this mangrove. See if we can get up on something. There's a big school of them right there. Yep. They're pushed back up in this little cove because of that dolphin that's out there. See him? No. See him right there? He's right there. He is uninterested in my lure. He's up here. I just lost him. He was right here. All right, so we stopped for lunch because uh, we're both hungry. Starving. And, uh, we were hoping to get a fish on the grill, but we ain't got a fish on the grill yet. So, uh, got our little magma grill going. Throwing some burgers, some dogs, and of course, you gotta have the tongs and you have to click them. If you don't click them, they may not work. If they don't work, you know, you're yeah, you're gonna have to use your fingers. And nobody wants that. So, they work great out here right up against this little mangrove island get us out the wind a little bit because it is a little bit windy today yeah yeah here in Sarasota it's a little bit windy out here in about what three foot yeah, yeah three foot of water hanging got a lot of shrimp hanging off the back over there one right there so while we're cooking up still fishing hopefully we'll get something I just had one chase me to the boat. Oh, he just got a fish. <clears throat> it looks like a bait fish. There's been a murder. And again, the lure that we're using is this tsunami shrimp. It's brown. It's got really good action with the tail you can buy these at walmart in a three pack they're like how much are these like five bucks yeah, like four five six bucks something like that you can find them at walmart worked really good had a lot of success out here on these flats with these trout yep another one 
a pretty fish. Ems is a pretty fish. Sixteen. Woo! Keep her, keep her. Keep, Sixteen. Sixteen. <clears throat> Good job. Yeah. All right, so we came back out to our grass flat. Wind kind of died down a little bit from what it was this morning, and uh, we just got done. We just got done having lunch, and. Uh, we were going to go hit up the bridge, but on the way out to the bridge, we decided to stop off and give it another try. Now the wind died down. That was the second cast, 16 inch sea trout. So there is supper. They are laying low. They are. They're hanging towards the bottom. <clears throat> and what I did, like I've said in my other videos, trout are ambush predators. So all this dark, this is grass. The light color of that sand, what they'll do is they'll lay right along that edge of where that dark and that light meet. And they'll wait for their, for their prey to swim by. They'll pop out of the grass and grab it. So I threw, see if I can get up here a little bit higher. I threw right up in here where that sand meets the grass and was pulling right along that edge of that grass and he came out and hit it spit it out and he came back for it and grabbed it again first cast i threw over here there's some sand right there and i was pulling back into the grass i got a couple little bumps there <clears throat> decided to throw over here instead because this looked this looked a little bit better over there so on to the next one He came up out the water and got that one. Nah, he ain't big enough. That was cool. He came up out the water and grabbed that. It was sinking down. He went up and got it. Back you go. Broke my line. There he goes. What is playing with my shit? fucking bait. I was excited it was going to be something good. 
looks pregnant, don't it? Whatever you're done. Thank you. Got him. Got him. No, you don't. No. Oh. Little. I just have one chasing me in the boat. Come on, man. Cute little trout. Where's those birds at, babe? The what? The birds. He tried to eat my lure. Go! No! Don't get it! Don't get it! Don't get it! Ah! Oh. Hell yeah, he got it. I really want to do this swimming today. You want me to pull that sandbar up there? It's the sandbar's right there. Yeah, but it's all muddy. It's fine. It's not muddy. That's the sandbar. Right there. That's the one that's got the hard sand. Yeah? No, but it is fine. Okay, we'll go over there. <laughs> I didn't say I wanted to. Aren't you hot? No. I'm like hot. Yeah, you are. No, like, I think it's from wearing the hat. Like, I feel like my insides are burning. Ooh. Oh, what the heck? Yeah. What the heck is that? Oh, came off. Oh, came back for it. Right there. Ladyfish. Ladyfish. Ladyfish, ladyfish. This wasn't the one that hit me out there. The one that hit me out there was huge. Ah. Came back for it. Holy shit, look at that. Look at this manta ray. Oh, that's crazy. Is that a trout? He's a flounder. You want the net? Yeah, it's a flounder. Ah. A flounder in season? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> that was a giant man, right? Did you see it? Yeah, just that thing was huge. A flounder. I ain't caught one of these things since I was a kid. Minimum size 14. Oh, he may be 14. Woo! Almost got me with him. Per person per day. Seasonal closure closed annually from October 15th through November 30th. Okay, so they're open. He's got to be 14. All right. He's got them teethies. I like flounder. Flounder is what we do fish tacos with. Yeah. All right, so he's got to be 14. Yep. All right, let's see here what we got. Ooh, yeah. He is 15. On an artificial? On an artificial, yeah. I think he was 15. Let me just double check that. Yeah. Can we turn that on for fresh water? Yeah, I'm gonna throw some in there. Yeah, on an artificial. Wow. Pretty cool. Oh, got him. 
Oh, that's a good size trout, baby. Get the net, please. That is a keeper. You're catching Ooh. everything in there. Look at you. Hi, bye. Hi, bye. Oh, goodness. That's got to be every bit of 19, oh, he's, 20. No, he's like 18. He is a stud right there. He's a beaut. So does this mean I don't have to go grocery shopping this weekend? Nope, no grocery shopping. <laughs> We're grocery shopping right now. <laughs> Good job, baby. Oof, look at him, boy. That might be my PB. Yep, I know. Eighteen and a half. Nice. Good job, baby. What was that other one that I caught? Was it eighteen? Okay. No, no, the the one the other day was that eighteen? Yeah. That's my PB then. Yeah, babe. I'm gonna stand up here. Woo! Eighteen and a half inch sea trout. That's my personal best right there. Last one that I caught was a uh, eighteen. Come on, buddy, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. There you go. Come on. Get on it. Got him. Got him. Got him. Don't even know it. He's right at fifteen. Oh, let him go. All right, I'll let him go. Oh, my buddy. Disappear. Yeah. Catfish nuggies.
cross either. They're nice. It's not the biggest one we've ever got. Still sail kitty. No, I got him. Like to take you home and eat you for supper. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I broke it. Another one. That was a good one there. You need to switch to lady ladyfish. That's not a catfish. Yeah, it is. Come on, baby. Come on. That's a better one there. That's a better one. So the setup that I'm using is the uh, 1.3 Creed X 4000 reel paired with the Blackout 1.3 uh, 7 foot rod. Got it with uh, the Blackout Beyond Braid uh, 10 pound test. And uh, this is the same rod reel combo that we gave away that Cody Forbes won. And uh, pretty stout holding up to them catfish. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on. There you go. There you go. Do you think you're going to need the net? Yeah. Oh, I love that sound. Come on, buddy. I don't think that little pole can hold these, hold of these catfish. Ooh, come on. <laughs> he saw the boat. He's like, nope. Since that last time we were yeah. here catching them cow boy that's a big one too we're gonna have catfish nuggies for days oof oof he's a stout one Ooh, that's 
a big one right there. Are they all going to fit in there? We have the second live well too, but that's going to be some good fillets off of him. Nope, 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 no you ain't. Still can't. Say oh kitty. So our main live well was starting to fill up. So we threw them in the bait well because we didn't have any more bait really to throw in here. So we got a handful of catfish, a couple sea trout, ladyfish, flounder. Not too bad. All right, hey everybody. So we're back at the house. It's the next day. We got home kind of late last night because of uh, just the amount of traffic at the boat ramp and then traffic on the way home. By the time we cleaned the boat up and everything, it was too dark to clean the fish. So we just threw them in our cooler and uh, just went ahead and put them on ice. And I'm going to clean them today. So there's the flounder that we caught. We got five nice sail cats. That one right there, that's a, that's a big boy right there. Make catfish nuggies out of them restock our supply and then here's the two beautiful spotted sea trout that's a 16 inch there's an 18 and a half inch spotted sea trout so we'll get to cleaning them we have a fish looks like a rock all right everybody so this is a flounder okay so there's two sides to the flounder there's the dark side then the white side so 
today what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to flay out a flounder. So the first thing is get yourself a flay knife. Make sure it's sharp. There's a couple different ways you can flay these fish. So what I like to do is I like to start on the white side first and pick up that little pectoral fin right there and the meat comes all the way up to here all the way up into the cheek area you have your uh, your backbone that runs right down there and then there's actually two flays there's a flay on this side of the bones and the flay on this side of the backbone same thing with the other side there's a flay on this side and a flay on this side so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right down here as close to this as close to this gill as possible go ahead and grab a hold of the gill and just run your knife right down into it all the way across it come all the way out now you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna follow your knife blade right along that backbone and you're just gonna let the knife do the work for you so when you come down into it you're just gonna come down you're gonna feel that backbone with your knife and all you're gonna do is just push your knife all the way through, all the way out. Bring it open, and you can see there's the backbone. Just run your knife right along the edge of that backbone. There's a bone right here that you can't see. It's a pretty stout bone, so all you gotta do is just come into it. Oop, Let's see if I can do this out, cutting myself. Come right into it, right? right there just come all the way through it now what you want to do is angle your knife down just come out and just fillet it right off the rest of these bones Probably one of the, the nicest looking fillets. They are. It's a very, very white meat. There's your fillet. All right, so now doing the other side, same thing. You're gonna come right along, back behind that fin, right on the opposite side of the gills. Come all the way down to the fish, all the way through. You're going to turn your knife sideways. You're going to follow that backbone right down. You can't do that left handed. It's harder to see on this side than it is on the white side. That's why I always start with the white side first. Come all the way through. Lost a little bit right there. Let's find I'm gonna get it back. You got that bone. Break through that bone. All the way through, all the way out. There's second fillet. Come right down, get as close to that skin as possible. right out you got your backbone or your uh, rib bones again they come right out 
There's your belly fillet. There's your top fillet. That's how you fillet out a flounder. All right, everybody, we're back. So we are, <laughs> you're like really close to People me. People want to see you. You have beautiful eyes. Show them. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're, <laughs> I can't do it. you're like, it's like this right here, like. <laughs> okay, but look, right. look at it from my angle. No, I can okay. see it. I, I can you're see You're not myself. that close, like you look good. Just... I can see myself. That's like really close. All right. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm slap happy, tired. Okay, go. Are right, you ready? Yeah. All right, everybody, we're back. <laughs> Courtney's enjoying herself way too much <laughs> doing all the recording today. So we got our flounder fillets. We're going to do flounder for supper. We're going to pan fry it, and we're going to pair it with some angel hair pasta and uh, do a little, kind of like a little Alfredo sauce, kind of, sort of. Um, we're doing uh, lemon pepper seasoning on the flounder. So I got my flounder already. I put the flounder in the sink so that way then when I go to season them up, I don't make a big mess. And, and I have, have to, to clean it. Yeah, I have to, you know, either clean it or Courtney has to clean it, which is normally Courtney. But, so I'm just going to take and just... Great value. Just some lemon pepper seasoning from Walmart. I'm just going to sprinkle some on. Get a nice coating on it. And I'm just going to hit it with some salt as well because you can't go wrong with salt. Show them our cute little salt. Our little salt little shaker. salt shaker. It's got an S for salt. We got another one that's got a P for pepper. Go ahead and flip these over. We'll go ahead and do the other side. It's all in the wrist. It is all in the wrist. We're gonna put these in the pan on medium high heat with a little bit of oil. So I'll get that going. I'll get that going here in a second and uh, we'll bring you back in. So, got the oil in the pan. Just bringing it up. Get you a, a fairly decent nonstick pan. Um, I think we picked this one up at Walmart That's for- time and table. Time and table. It was like on like 20 bucks or so. I got my pot going with some olive oil in there for the noodles. We're gonna do angel hair pasta. I'm just do a little bit of olive oil in there, just waiting for it to heat up. It's almost ready. I should just make sure your pan's got some oil on it. Lay it down in there. Let those go for a couple minutes. As you see, it's already starting to turn white right here along the edges. That's what you want to see. All right, let's give this a flip. Look at that. I mean, that don't look good. I like to just double check things. Fishes, 145. So, 145, just find the fattest, thickest part of the meat. Stick it in. That's what she said. We're at 132. Probably go for a few more seconds. That piece is done there. The smaller piece is done. We'll take this piece out here. Look at that. Look on our fine there. china. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Good job. All right, so now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a couple more pads of butter. Then I'm going to make the sauce. Put as little or as much garlic as your heart desires. We like garlic. We like garlic here, so. Get 
throw that in. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in some heavy cream. While we got this going, we went ahead and get the pasta water boiling. Get all that flavor from the fish in the pan. And to stir it all around. Bring it to a boil, and then we want it to reduce down some so it'll thicken up. Throw in some Parmesan cheese with it. Little lemon juice. And then we got our sauce. I just take some of this lemon pepper seasoning, just throw a little bit in there. Along with a little bit of salt. And then some fresh cracked ground pepper. I'm over here cooking noodles. You see it's already starting to thicken up some. If you follow us on Facebook, either one of us, this is kind of the same sauce that I made a couple weeks ago when I did the the scallops. Scallops. The scallops, scallops. The pan seared garlic, butter, lemon, delicious Alfredo, all of it. And once it gets kind of thick right there, I just threw in some uh, lemon juice. Once it gets kind of thickened, it starts to bubble up like that. It's pretty consistent. Get yourself some shredded Parmesan cheese and just sprinkle it around in there. The Parmesan cheese is also going to thicken it up as well. So if it's not as thick as you want it, like don't, don't be concerned about it because the cheese will thicken it up. And if it's still not as thick as you want it, you can always throw in some cornstarch, a little bit of water. That'll thicken it up as well. As it cools though, it will thicken. All right, so we got our angel hair pasta cooked up. Just gonna take some of this out. Deliciousness. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it over into our pan. Just you know, I just take all of it. I'm just gonna take it all. Oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh that's hot. Here, here. There we go. There we go. Take this and just work the noodles around in the sauce. Look at that. All right, there's the finished product. There's our flounder. Caught up, uh, caught yesterday, cleaned it up, cooked it up, paired it with the uh, angel hair pasta and the homemade garlic butter sauce and our garlic bread. So, till next time, hope to see you on the water.